thank you for joining this Property Tribes TV interview and I'm joined by Tim Frome, MD of the Property Redress Scheme. So welcome Tim. Hello. And in this interview I want to drill down a little bit more on why landlords uh, should recognise the benefits of um, redress and uh, what to look out for. So first of all, why is it of interest to landlords that this new legislation has been brought in? Uh, landlords now are going to be seen on a par with uh, buyers and sellers of property. Mm -hmm. So previously, all estate agents had to be a yeah. member of one of the Ombudsman schemes, but from the 1st of October, letting agents will as also. What this means for landlords is that landlords, if they have a complaint against their agent, they will be able to escalate that complaint to the independent Ombudsman, who will be able to make a decision on that complaint. Uh, the letting agent is going to be required to join from the 1st of October. If they don't join, they're going to be subject to fines from trading standards, but more importantly, by joining one of the schemes, the complaints procedure and uh, the actual scheme itself will have the power to make compensation awards of up to £25,000 if that agent has acted in a way as to cause the landlord financial loss. Absolutely, and I think one of the points that we want to get across uh, between both of us is that a landlord should vet a letting agent prior to you know, working with them, and one of the key questions they should ask is which redress scheme you're a of. Exactly. Now, well, if they do it after the 1st of October, as it is a legal requirement, they, the agent must be a member of one of the three schemes. So they should, uh, any landlord should be asking that question right from the beginning. Obviously, the fees that the letting agent is charging is important. Mm -hmm. uh, the type of tenant that the letting agent can obtain for that landlord is important. But also, if there is a complaint that the let landlord may have against the letting agent, they will want to know that it's going to be dealt with properly. And if uh, the agent itself isn't going to deal with it properly, that it can be escalated to a third party who can provide uh, decent redress to the uh, landlord. Right, and all this is really about building confidence yeah. in the private rented sector exactly. because it's been a little bit of a wild west for a long time. It's really in, uh, you know, the whole government agenda is, is obviously escalated yeah. and um, we want to work as a community to uh, raise standards and if landlords find an agent that isn't uh, a member of an ombudsman scheme, what should they do? They can uh, inform their local local trading standards office uh, at the local authority in which they are based. Uh, that trading standards has the power to actually implement a £5,000 fine on the spot. It's a bit like a parking ticket uh, and the letting agent will be required to pay that fine and if they don't pay that fine they can be provided with another ticket. So basically what they will be able to do is make that letting agent go out of business through the fines that can be levied against them. Fantastic. And just yep. to finish, Tim, obviously we had two existing schemes, the Property Ombudsman and the Ombudsman Services Property. Why do we need a third scheme? What alternative are you offering? Um, the Property Address Scheme are a new scheme. Uh, we're not hiding behind the fact. But what we've done is we've actually looked at the industry. We've seen that there's a lot of different types of letting agent out there. You've got a letting agent from uh, your person who is just looking after a couple of properties for family members, uh, all the way through to one of the big chains who might have up to a thousand branches throughout the country. And what that requires is different models of uh, redress scheme that allow all different types of letting agent to join and to be compliant with the legislation. So what we've done is we've thought about it. We're actually offering two different models. So uh, the letting agent can join on our entry model, which is is uh, a low cost model which allows the agent to comply with the legislation but then if they do have some complaints there are uh, fees involved where they have to pay uh, to deal with that complaint yep. but we've then also thought about the, the larger model where you have your bigger letting agent who just likes to pay their fee at the beginning of the year and know that they're covered so we've also have an enhanced model for those type of agents and that will cover all of their complaints. Brilliant. Yep. So really what just to finish what, what we're trying to do or what you're trying to do is to kind of simplify yep. the whole area for consumers so it's very clear that they know what to ask for and that they know what to do if there's a problem. Exactly. We've made our website as user-friendly as possible. Uh, we have an, uh, a letting agent side and we have a consumer side. The consumer side will have uh, resources available to them. They'll be able to check whether the agent that they use is a member of our scheme very simply the, with the name or just the, simply the first three digits of the postcode. Um, we provide guidance about how to complain, um, the best way to get um, a resolution to your complaint. But this works both ways as well because we're offering the same to the agent as well. So best practice in how to deal with complaints to stop them escalating further. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for joining me and thank you to Property Redress Scheme for your support of Property Tribes oh, as well. It's our pleasure. We're happy to uh, get the name out there. Thank, thank you. you. All yeah. the best for the Bye. 1st of October. Thank you. <laughs>